What are your thoughts about porn and masturbation and how it affects men? <laughs> no one wears a t-shirt that says, I masturbate to pornography regularly. <laughs> 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 So the reason I put it like that is because it's a, it's a second-rate solution to a complicated problem. And, and if it wasn't that, then it would be something that people took pride in, you know, in, in a real sense, as an accomplishment. And, <laughs> right. <laughs> And everyone laughs about that because it's so preposterous, and so you kind of know it's a second-rate solution, and I don't say that in a finger-wagging way, because the technology that enables it is unbelievably powerful, and, and, and that's put young men in particular who are very susceptible to visual, to visual sexual imagery, far more than young women, by the way, so the, the literature on this is quite clear. Men and women both use pornography, but men use images and women use stories. And the, the details of the classic female pornography story are very well understood. If you're interested, you can read a book called A Billion Wicked Thoughts, written by Google engineers who analyze pornography use among women across millions of instances. And so it's, it's quite interesting. It's, the, the basic pornographic female story is something like Beauty and the Beast. And the protagonist is usually a vampire, a pirate, a surgeon, a billionaire. Um, and there's one other character I can never remember, but <laughs> they're, 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 su they're super stimuli in some sense, right? And, but the problem is, and there is an emerging literature on this, is that it, it, it's, a, it's a dead end, and it's not one without cost. And so it's a suboptimal solution, let's put it that way. And I would say that anything that reduces motivation to establish a credible and intimate, productive, generous, and reciprocal long-term relationship. Anything that interferes with that is to be viewed with extreme skepticism. And it's so difficult to do that that you don't want to deprive yourself of any of the deprivation that might motivate you to do it. And so that's what it looks like to me.